node npm scripts. Proxies can define their own scripts. So these are part of the scripts section of a package.json file. Scripts are defined as an object with each property, the name that then corresponds to the value of some command to be run or some command combinations to be run. The npm command can be used with run. So npm run and then the name of a property within the scripts object within the package.json file. Its corresponding value then will be run. So npm run example, as with the previous example defined on the previous slide, where example is the name of a property and then its corresponding value is a command or a series of commands to then be run when npm run is ex executed. As part of package.json, Node also has access to all packages installed within that project and all command line programs available in the system. Think of it as a combination of both defining sets of commands to run, commands, for example, to make directories, to change things, or do anything else, and if any packages have their own command line access or the ability to be run as a command line program, they can also be called in this manner. This allows for creating very complex commands as part of a scripts within a project where various things can be run by calling npm run something and then having all these various commands execute and in some cases execute each other depending on what else is going on. There is one special exception. This is npm start. This is a special exception to the rule where if there is a start script, a start property defined within the package.json file, it will be run using npm start. You do not have to use npm run start, although you can. You can instead shortcut that to npm start, which is of course a special exception. Many projects, React among them and React Native also, use this start script as their default action. This allows developers to simply write npm start and it will start through code. So let's look at an example using a React project and its built-in scripts. So I'm going to move over to Visual Studio Code and I've put together a very basic React project so we can see what that would look like. So it has some of the, some of the files it's already set up and I've selected its package.json file and where it has a lot of other values, we want to particularly pay attention to this object right here, its scripts. Notice it has a start script. So this could be run then using npm start or npm run start. But for the others, build, test, and eject, we would have to type npm run build, npm run test, or npm run eject. So, let's review what we know. Projects can define their own special scripts. When they do in this way, they're defined within the object scripts as part of the package.json file. These are defined as properties with corresponding values, where the value is some string value representing a command to run on that system. These can be both command line programs that the system has access to and other packages if those packages have command line access or can be accessed in a command line manner. For example here, we have start with React Scripts start. In this case, React Scripts is actually the name of a project or a package installed within this project. So if I go to node modules and scroll significantly down, we can eventually find React Scripts. And we see it right here. So React Scripts is actually a package that's being called via this project into its own packages. So it has access to any command line programs installed and also any packages which can be called, as I've mentioned, in a command line manner. So npm start is a special exception where, of course, it can be just written as npm start without the need to write npm run something. And notice, of course, we put the cursor over it, again, letting v Visual Studio Code help us, we see npm start command. Putting the cursor over here, we see this is a run script, so it would be npm run build. Test is also a script, and we have eject as well. So notice these are all set up as npm run something, except in the special case of npm start. When we get to talking about testing in a later video, I'll return to this, and we'll talk about some of the special exceptions for that. But in general, any named property within scripts can be accessed using npm run and then the name of that property. And again, many projects define start as the default action, and so developers can then use 
npm start instead of npm run something.